Hello there, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to some more Dishonored. I found Wakefield. I guess, um, Lizzie. Sorry, I was, I was, I was the, the name Lilith came up in my mind for some reason, don't know why. But Lizzie, thank you, not Liz, Lilith, Lizzie. I th guess she got her revenge, because we sure as hell left him unconscious. We're here on Lizzie's boat, don't remember the name. It, were we ever told the name of the boat? Don't know, don't care. We're gonna go with Lizzie and her non-webbed feet uh, up the river. To the Brigmore Mansion, to the Brigmore Witches, finally! See if we can find Delilah. Explain what you're getting me into upriver. Witchcraft! Lots of witchcraft is what we're getting into. What the shit? What? What? What the shit? What? What the fuck is going on? What the actual shit? Witches! <laughs> Kaboonk! Okay, I wasn't expecting that! What the hell? Right, um... Lizzie is dead. Lizzie died. Lizzie is not going on any adventure upriver. Okay, okay. I guess the uh, dead eels will have to look for a new leader. And also lucky for that gal who had to chop off several of her fingers. She will no longer have to do that. Um, are you guys cool with me taking over the boat and going upriver? As per uh, the, my... Um, Agreement with your previous leader. Are you all cool with that? I don't care if you are, we're going. Um, I guess the witches don't like me going their way. Huh. Dowd, the Undine is ready to travel. Undine. Our men are manning all the stations. All that's left is for you to engage the engine. The bridge is yours, Captain. I just did, I think. Yep. Lizzie did not survive the fight. Add it to Delilah's dead. Let's go. Go to Brigmore Manor and finally find Delilah and see if Dowd can get away from his horrible fate or whatever it is we're doing this for. I can't remember anymore. Well, okay. Lizzie died. Hostiles killed two. Really? I don't remember killing anyone. Because this was the whole... Oh wait, no, we did kill the... The leader of the Hatters. And who else? We actually asked... Right. We took on a contract to kill someone, so we did kill two people. Yes, that is 100% correct. Restored water to the canal, sure did. Helped end the geezer and helped the geezer end his life. Sure did. So in uh, didn't have to restore the water to the canal, but did it did it anyway, because I hadn't gone down there and there were runes and stuff there. So no checkbox in uh, no check mark in the old didn't kill anyone. Almost never been able to check never detected. <laughs> I've always been detected. I don't care, and I missed a freaking bo I missed two runes? What the? Okay, whatever. Delilah's masterwork. We're actually at the Brigmore Manor. Delilah and her coven are planning something that threatens everyone across the Empire of the Isles. Infiltrate the ruins of Brigmore Manor and stop Delilah. The Brigmores were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, the smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something, a ritual, but what kind? The outsider knows. 
I cannot abide a mystery. Sure, but uh, why does Dowd care about a ritual affecting the Empire? I mean, wh why? I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I've used this mine before. I threw it on the witches. I didn't mean to buy the grenade. Favors! Hole in the fence! We'll drop your runes and mana and open the fence to allow for a more stealthy approach to the estate. Turncoat paid one of the witches to meet with you and provide information. She'll be wearing a red jacket. Thieving butler. Former butler smuggled goods from the estate and hid them by the shore. One of your agents will unearth the cash for a price. Well, I wanted this. Yes, I wanted this. I think I needed wanted two more runes. I still have 1700. Maybe some stealth? Sure, some more stealth. Experience about improved armor? Don't care. Reload? Ah. I have, um, I have a b b bend stop time if I need it. Maybe I should buy some favors. Let's buy all of the favors. So we get a, get a witch in a red jacket, who's going to provide us information. A butler is going to dig something up, and there's going to be a hole in the face, because why not? Hole in the penisa, <gasps> because why not? Kind of feels like this is the final mission, so, I mean... The DLC is called the Brigmore Witches, and we're at the Brigmore Mansion with the Brigmore Witches. So let's do some reload, too. Perfect. Now I have 359 coins left. Can I, I, I can buy a few of these. Perfect. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I can't buy anything else. So now we're here. Oh. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing, but I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. It's fine. Good enough. I'll take it from here. Now that's a very polite and elegant bow. Bow? Not bow, bow. Mission clues. And Delilah Copperspoon's hideout is the old Brigmore estate. Infiltrate the estate and find her. Let's see, we have a lot of favors here. Yes. Find a way. Uh, planning something that threatens everyone across the Empire of the Isles. I mean, okay, maybe Dowd would care because that would mean less customers for him. This looks... Uh, what the shit? I thought that was a rune. Or a bone charm. But no, it was a dog. Well, there goes the whole never detected thing. Hey, didn't I hit you? Meh! Oh, fuck you then. What the shit? Okay, we're definitely up against witches. And yeah, I guess that ruins the whole never detected thing ghost because I was detected immediately that's some bullshit oh <sighs> statues of Delilah everywhere and we have been talking to Delilah statue so oh, oh right I guess I will just assume that they will can you get up that that they are kind of like um, um, they can see me they're like scouts watch Watch thingies, watch towers, watch statues? Yeah. Freaking crate thingy-majing-a-bob. 
I'm still getting money though. Here are some things. Shoreline, one meter. Butler's note. They are on to me. The urn will have to stay here, Reggie, until we can return by boat and claim it. The master's key, however, will go with me, and, since you are nowhere to be seen, I have little choice but to scale the rocks by the waterfall and make my escape cross-country. Leave me out to dry on this one, and I'll put a bullet in the hole in the th of your skull. Or just a bullet hole in your skull. I'm gonna guess they did get it. Okay. Uh, okay, check the waterfall. There's a waterfall that way. There's a cache that away. And, um... Uh, uh, Red Jacket Witch. Why would a witch turn on their own just for money? Something doesn't really sit right with me on that one. Am I gonna... Am I gonna have to expect an ambush? Let's put some sleep darts on. Can, can, I, can I get in the feeling of either an ambush or um, getting betrayed? Never, never trust someone who betrays their um, ooh, master, employer, whatever, for gold. They cannot be trusted. E even, even if they seem to be trusted, you, you know, the right thing to do once they have done you a favor is basically kill them, because you cannot trust them. Because if they turned on whoever they were working for, for you, you can bet your ass that they will turn on you for slightly more money. If you're using turncoats, get rid of the turncoats. That was a very ominous... Oh. Hello there, I saw you. Stun mine. Okay. Medicinal herbs. Oh no, not more of you. Or? No? I thought I heard another dog. There's probably another dog somewhere. There's definitely something around here. Spiritual remedy? Sure. Eat some- eat a peer. Eat a peer. Eat a peer. It appears that I can eat a peer. There, there's the cache, okay. Lookout orders. S. Dowd has left a dra Draper's Ward on Lissy Stride's boat and could arrive within hours. Disable the grave switch. Isabel will lock the manor and wait for further instructions in the backyard. D for Delilah. And who might this be, I wonder? There's also the whole thing about the woman who kinda teleports like we do. Hi. In your belly. Don't know who that is. Because they said previously, somewhere, somehow, you don't remember who, that... Shh, shush. Uh, the outsider's power had been granted to four people. Uh, one being Dowd, of course. One being Delilah, I assume. One being Corvo. And the fourth one is the mystery woman. It seems to be everywhere. Here's me cash. I hope everything is in order, sir. Yes. Why are you Strange here? Strange doings, sir. I killed a hound in the yard, and it got straight back up and went for me. Same. I crush its skull, to be sure. Yeah. Okay. But but same. I already did that. So maybe that doesn't. Okay. Now it's quiet. Maybe that won't count as being discovered? Will I be able to do this mission without being discovered? No. Probably not. I'm gonna try my damnedest, but uh, don't count on it. Whoop. Now, there's a backyard there, there's a waterfall there. I can get in the air. Plus the fence is kind of broken. I can go up there. What the hell is up there then? Because that leads to the castle. Is this just another way into the castle? So if I see dogs, do not get scared. Kill them. Kill them hard, kill them fast. Crush their skulls. 
because they are not actual dogs they are spirit dogs can, can you thank you mm -hmm. uh, uh. yep you you can move up this ledge down thank you that's Tivianor. Tivianor. thought that was a skull first it wasn't so this doesn't lead anywhere. Or it might. I mean... This is... I hate that sound. Always makes me think I'm discovered. Always sounds like I'm discovered. When I'm not. Eh. That's a dog. That's a dog. Let me just go down here. So can I can I preemptively get rid of the dogs by crossbowing their skulls? Mm -hmm, I see that. Dogs. Because freaking shooting sleep darts into you didn't do anything. That just made you go back into your gosh dang skulls. Uh, I really don't want to keep killing things, but uh, you aren't things. You're not even dogs. You are spirits. So you don't count. Hello. The witches still count. The dogs don't. I can, okay. But they have to be back into their skulls for me to do that. I can just get you back in the skulls like so, and then uh, just uh, like so. There's some money and a note. Lever whereabouts. With Dode on his way, Delilah had me disable the grave switch and put it in the garden shed. Yes. You know Dowd is good at infiltrating. Why the hell do you leave notes saying where the things you deactivated, where the things you need to reactivate them are? What the hell? Also, doggy be gone. Again. Really hope this does not count as killing people. I can't remember when I went up against dogs. Did I kill dogs? Did 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 That's a Delilah statue. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay away from you. Yeah. Already forgot about the Delilah statues. Oh, I hear you. Also, bone charms. I wanted more. Swift shadow, you move forward slightly faster while in stealth mode. Yes. What else did I want? Finger from fountains. Uh, regenerate mana slightly faster. Could be nice. Uh, chance? No. I prefer something that actually happens. Not just, oh, you have a chance for this to happen. They're, they're good if you have nothing else, but uh, not for this. Choking is faster, let's go light as a shadow, take less damage from falls, don't fall that often. Reinforced bolts, could have used that one, but uh, meh. More visible to enemies, build up to adrenaline. Eh. Not really that much of a fan of the corrupted charms it's kind of cool to have charms that give both a benefit and a penalty but uh, they feel more geared towards actually non-sneaking so except for this one yeah so the, not that not that good 
I, I guess I can regenerate mana a little bit faster. Uh. Oh, hi. It's right below me. And there's a witch there too, okay. So there's a statue of Delilah standing there. If I sneak around this, uh, you can't see me. I'm not in your line of sight. I did see the patrolling witch. Yes. Still have a garden shed and a waterfall to find. If I can get into that corner, I might be able to move around a little bit more freely. Well, not move around freely, but I might be able to take these from behind. Oh, there's a third one. Never mind, that corner is bad. I guess I can go there, and then up there. Just slink into the shadows here. I'm up here. Wait, what? What? I didn't see her. I don't think she saw me? I'm not hearing an alarm. Is she? So I can get up there? I might actually go up there. Yeah, okay, she didn't see me. If you can just turn around, li little lady. We shall become the bestest of friends. Okay, so. Oh, there's an entrance. You can, you can lie on the grass and have a nap. Rhyme of the Rosewater Hag. Except from an almanac on folk tales and superstitions of crystal. So far in this almanac, we have catalogued many trite and ignorant, if somewhat harmless, tales, but we must now turn to that special class of folk customs that can only be called wicked and pernicious. The worst of these is perhaps the rhyme of the rosewater hag. Variants of this accursed poem seem to predate even the founding of Dunwall, though its ultimate origins are lost to us. As to its meaning, some consider it a tale of revenge by a mother against her own daughter. Others see it as a supplication meant to solicit the attention of some ancient spirit from the void. Are there more spirits from the void other than, apart from the outsider? Hmm. In any case, uh, the ritual surrounding the poem is profusely morbid, and in many regions is used as a primitive means of settling the matter between two parties, where one has accused the other of falsehood. It is performed as follows. First, whoever is to be tested must find a fountain of standing water and cover, cover the surface with fallen rose petals. Once there are sufficient petals as to completely obscure the water, that's a lot of petals, you must close your eyes firmly and place both hands within the fountain so that they are submerged beneath the blanket of rose petals. Then you are to recite the following verses. Do you have to say the rose water hag also? Petals, petals on the water, tell me, tell me, where's your daughter? Has she drowned beneath the mark? Has she vanished in the dark? Petals, petals on the water, tell me, tell me, where's your daughter? Has she trysted by the well? Has she secrets left to tell? Who cares who she trysts with? Let her tryst all she wants. Petals, petals on the water, tell me, tell me, am I your daughter? Okay. After this, you must lean into the fountain, lowering your head fully into the water and under the rose petals, face first with both eyes still squeezed tight. Count to three and then open your eyes. At that moment, it is said that the Rosewater Hag will arrive. If you are without fault, you will see nothing. 
except that you will feel her gentle caress on the back of your neck. Creepy? But if there is a falsehood or wickedness in your heart, you will see the horrible face of the Rosewater Hag, a creature of indescribable horror. The hag will drown you in the fountain with a cord made of thorny vines. If there's falsehood or wickedness in your heart, Everyone has a measure of falsehood or weakness in, wickedness in our hearts. It's a matter of, you know, if you actually perform stuff. I, I mean, falsehoods, sure, we all, all lie a little bit now and then. And we all do, do a little bit of wickedness now and then. But as long as you don't fill your heart with them, uh, whatever. Obviously, while the Abbey takes things very, very seriously, most authorities classify this tale as superstitious nonsense. However, it must be noted that every year there are at least half a dozen reports from the countryside of young women found dead and blue-faced with their necks nicked and scratched as if by a collar of thorns. Very easy way to, you know, uh, obscure a murder. Blame it on the rosewater hack. Hmm, uh, can I go through the mansion and get to the waterfall shed and backyard? Yes, I have to go to the shed. Then I have to go back to the cri crypt, graves, whatever. Hi. I'm in. Anything up here? Oh, there's a book. But more importantly, there's a chest. That for some reason, when I tried to open it, the game saved. Page from an old book. A page torn from an old manuscript written in a scrolling hand. Dreary waters, hissing daughters, crack three green shells and steal their pearls. Okay, that would be the river crushed thingies. Turn the spigot and drink from the misery of a broken house. Gulp and swallow, follow, follow. Three wet marbles down the gullet. Drink the freaking pearls? Do this for me, dearie, and I'll give you a birthday gift. I was kind of wondering what whatever happened to the granny recipes. Because I don't think we had one in the previous stage when we with the whole hatters thing, or at least I didn't find it. Right. So three... Yeah, two more pearls, because I already killed one Rivercrest thing. Petals and Thorns. Excerpt from a children's book. In the verdant garden, kneeling quietly, Rosalind and her basket attended a gathering of crown roses. Rosalind bent, caressing one of the roses, and she brought the shears from behind her back, where they were hidden as if they might spook the flowers. It was but a small thing to take a life for her mother. As she brought the shears around, she pulled at a stem, readying it for the blades. But the flower did not comply, and rewarded her trust with a thorn buried in her thumb. A single drop of crimson welled up from the wound. Before Rosalind could bring her thumb to her lips, a hand closed around her wrist. Her mother was standing nearby, witness to all that had transpired. The rose demands its price, my love. Do not deny the flower its toll. Rosalind winced as her mother forced her hand out over the flower bed and gently squeezed her thumb. Three drops spattered onto the dry soil. As her mother walked away, Rosalind blinked away tears and gripped tight her shears. She left the garden with her basket brimming, Three crimson drops and one crimson flower, all that remained of the once proud garden. Okay, so... Is this supposed to kind of teach something? Everything comes at a price? I guess. The Art of the Enchanting Garden. From a book on landscaping. But first... Hmm. Always hydrate. <clears throat> A 
Effective garden design must entice the casual observer by drawing them through the garden gates with a promise of the idyllic. Yet once inside, it must continue to captivate the senses, compelling visitors to linger among the lush greenery and well-positioned decor. The tranquility of a solitary pool, the perfume of jasmine flowers, the drape of an ancient woody clematis. Across the estates of Donwall, all these must serve to soothe and beguile those who adventure into the well-tended garden of our gentry. Whether one chooses manicured symmetry or the illusion of wild growth, certain fundamentals must always apply. Symmetry for me, please. Variations of shape and size to excite the vision, cohesive themes to calm the spirit, and complementary scents and colors. As noted in the high-walled gardens of Lord and Lady Morgan, Mortigan Pluff, Morgan, place, uh, place marble sculptures place marble sculpture throughout as a means of transporting the visitors to a world of imagination. Shouldn't that be marble sculptures? As in, just not one, but several? Place marble sculptures throughout, and that make more, makes more sense. In keeping with the influential vision set forth by the beloved Borrigan sisters, daughters of the late Jonathan and Olivia Sator, Coo to those visitors your manor garden with coordinated sounds. The soft splash of the fountain, the trickling of a stone-walled stream, and the rustle of Sir Conan's sheath oaks from high above. Remember, a magical meeting place can be as simple as a periwinkle-draped bower over a crunching gravel pathway, or a pedestal bench nestled under the boughs of a crown willow. Landscaping, yes, gardens can look pretty. I. It's kind of designy, so. I suck at it. Oh, hello. Oh. Uh, sixth stricture. Yeah, the freaking strictures. Um, I, I kind of. Oh. Wait, isn't this. Oh, this is. I thought there was a glass here. There wasn't. I want to see if there's anything at the very end here. There is money. Only money. I heard that. I heard that sigh. Who sighed? What the shit? The actual shit. Where did you come from? You can, you can join your sister in the grass. Literally touch grass. Go in, dude. We are here, choke dust. I already forgot I had a choke dust. Okay, yeah, I can go through the garden. To, through the garden to the house. Um, no one's doing a rose water hag thing here. Good. Need to find more river crests. Two more. Ooh, that's a Delilah statue. Staring this way. And dogs. Which I hope... Can I actually just walk past the dogs? Sneak past the dogs? Maybe I don't have to kill them? Please don't discover me. I just wanna go over here. There's, there's something there. Is that food? Or is that something else? Just, there's a sleep dart there. I want the sleep dart. Don't wake the doggies. Something there too. Okay, so you don't pop up if I'm sneaking. Good. I can avoid the dogs completely then. And hopefully the, the, the ones I already destroyed don't count as being killed. 
These roots are just... For some reason, they remind me of Torin's Passage. Anyone wanna play that game? I think you had, had to find a square root somewhere, which was literally a square root. One of the puzzles. You can go up there. But here's the one. Ah, I think I see the butler. I don't think he made it. This looks like a burned corpse. I really don't think he made it. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with the waterfall? Oh, neutralize the Lila. Oh, I have a few of those. By the way, okay. Find the lever, find the key to the front door. Okay, so we're definitely gonna neutralize the Lila, not kill. Um, check the waterfall, see if the butler actually escaped. I don't think he did. I think I see his corpse he did doing here. I'm at the waterfall. Get up, doubt. Yeah, I'm at the waterfall. Um, should I jump up the waterfall? Kind of doubt that the butler made it all this way. I, I can't. I can't really. Can't really get up there. I guess I'm looking for a key then. There it is. Give me the key. Give me the key. Um. Ah! That was the key to the front door. I was about to ask, what the hell is that key? I can't enter through the front door. That's no fun. Uh, the garden should be over there. That's where the lever for the thing is. There's a witch. I'm gonna sneak through here. Just do a little bit of stealthing. Avoid everything. No, no. no more dogs, please. I have enough of dogs. I'm gonna... Okay. okay, this is the shed. Is there anyone in here? That might be a river crest. It's probably a river crest. Let me take a... Yep. Oh, yep. Uh, no one else actually in here. River crusts, we don't care about. They can die. Hello, river crust. Open up. Hello. Open up. No one. This stupid river crust won't open. I have a problem. Can you? Thank you. Take one more pearl. We shall. Whale oil tanks. Um. There is the traitor, the informant. Think where's the uh, there it is. They're going to be another projectile launcher. Stop that, stop that. I don't think so. So let's trigger this. Let's go talk to the witch. Hi, I'm Dowd. How you doing? Don't think I'm on your side, because I'm not. If you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah, you'll answer to me. Understood. What have you got? When her ritual's done, Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone, and Delilah will look out through her eyes the rest of her life. Oh. And Delilah will rule as empress. 
That's up to you. I've got my money. That's all I need. Wait. What about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. Already knew that. So that's what the ritual is about. Delilah's gonna take Emily's place. And Dowd already kind of feels a little bit bad about the whole Empress thing, so... Yes, of course, my love. I guess his conscience kind of forces him to do this. Uh -huh. You probably can't see in here. I'm just gonna take a look around. But there's a lever here, somewhere. A sleep dart. Heavy lever. Perfect. So what else do we need? We need another need another river crust for the recipe. Hole in the fence, grab your cash. Okay, I guess I need to do that too. So I need to I need to go back to that side of the mansion anyway. For the crypt thing. And you don't have to Ooh, that's a lot of witches. You don't have to worry. I will not kill any of your sisters. I won't even kill Delilah. I'm only going to choke them. Choke them gently. Choke them to sleep. Choke them gently to sleep? That still sounds bad. Can I get up here? I probably can if I blink up there. There's my third river crust. Now open wide. You piece of crap. Open wide. Said open. Open. I only had two more shots. Hi, I'm here. See me. Stand up, dude. Hi, I'm here. You see me? Rivercrest. And there's a specific angle where you open up. Unless you want me to go down here. Fun thing, I I I can't move. Can't even jump. Good thing blink exists. Now I have all those. What did you want me to do then? Swallow the pearls with water from the Brigmore Well. Uh, well, I haven't seen a well. The front door, graveyard, estate, garden shed. Why is the garden shed still lit up? Because that's where the well is. Okay. So I guess I go back. Yeah. Keep keep everything spell related away from me. Thank you very much. No one's in here, right? You never know. You never know. Because sometimes they change their patrol routes. Hey, Grainy. Um, is this the well? I guess it was. Thanks for the rune. Well, that was easy enough. Now we can go back to the front. Yes, nice. Are you the red jacket witch? No, she's all the way over there. Can you turn around and go back to your sisters? Thank you. 
And I'll just move along here. Back to the front. You never saw doubt. Let's see, I've seen two Delilah statues. He said they were kind of all over the place. So this... There's completely unnecessary use of Blink there. I don't care. I like using Blink. A bit of a swampy land here. Hey, happy coincidence. No, don't, don't. The shit, didn't I hit you? Nope, 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 there's nothing here, which is... There's absolutely nothing over here. Nothing at all. Okay. Friggin, friggin, bitch. Are you gone now? Did you go? Up, oh, no, there she is. There they are. If you come out, I have a present for you. Be thorough. We must make sure nothing. Nothing after all. Good. Nothing after all. Up, I won't. Hey, come with me. Here's an. Okay, that's a rock, actually. Mm, a few too many. Can you can you sleep between these rocks? Oh, I think I, I think her head hit the rock. Sorry, that was not my intention. Freaking. Freaking river crests. I just want to go this way. To my hole in the fence. Ah. Hmm, does a sleep dart work on you? Nope. You heard nothing. Fucking river crests. Okay, found the hole in the fence. But there was no. No cash here. Let's see, this should be quite safe. I heard someone cough. Oh. Did you find your friend? You are more than welcome to join her. There you go. Two little witches sleeping side by side. What a marvelous sight. Just jump all the way over that. The dogs here should be gone. And, uh... Shaploof. Prepare the grave switch. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, ooh. <laughs> it was only the lid that opened. Kind of looked like the entire house was moving. Well, not house, but yeah. What? Break more crypts! No one was here. Cover your tracks. Shit. Oh, that's a place for you. <laughs> I 
actually killed some rats, but just with the actual grenade. That's that's fun. It's very fun. That no 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 fuckers assholes bastards fuckers everything. Oh, you can't see. Okay. Bird of prey. Drop assassination. The statue changed. Yeah, she changed. Like a weeping angel. First you're not looking, then you're coming for me. Can I actually talk to you? You know I'm coming, right? I mean you don't you don't do anything? Yeah. Uh, that was kinda creepy actually. Just a little bit creepy. Okay, neutralize the lilac copper spoon, sure. Explore the crypts. I can do that. This is the crypts. There's not really much to explore in here. Stay in the crypt. Um, what exactly do you want me to? Oh, the statue is back to normal. What exactly do you want me to explore? Hi. You want to talk? No. Okay. Good boys. Yes. Mommy has a treat for you. Quiet now. Okay. So they actually react to the lever being back. That's kind of cool. But I don't think there's anything to find in this crypt. His plaques do nothing. Nothing to read, nothing to learn. And the Delilah statue is just still, still a little bit scared of it. I guess there's nothing here to do. Let's go into the mansion. Go to Brigmore Manor. Now we know what the ritual is. Delilah's gonna become Emily. Brigmore Manor. We're inside the actual manor. Someone's lounging. There's a lot. I see dogs. I see dogs. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be fine. I think that's enough for today though, we're gonna save the, maybe the finale, the big showdown for next time. I don't think, I don't think there's that much left, but uh, it feels like there's not that much left. Basically do the whole manner thing and then confront Delilah, hopefully find a way to non-lethally neutralize her, if I can. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but we have to look through the entire matter. Maybe we can find some more, more, more information about Delilah and the Brimor Witches and the Coven and everything else. Maybe would probably be probably be a little bit too much to hope to learn something more about the Outsider. Anyway. 
thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful continuation of your day. And please take care of yourself.